It's nighttime, and in the twilight, Jabba the Hutt quietly wriggles and shuts his eyes tightly. Jabba is our Pac-Man frog, his species in particular known as a Suriname horned frog. He's actually undergoing a pretty interesting change tonight that happens to him every few weeks. In the privacy of his mossy bed, Jabba continues to blink and open his mouth. And you're about to find out what he's doing now. See? There. At the corner of his mouth. See that dark slimy thing? And slowly, the dark slime slips completely into his mouth and out of sight. What you saw there was Jabba's old skin. Our Pac-Man frog, like all frogs, was undergoing a routine shed. Something all frogs do. And it just so happens Jabba's species eats his old skin. Wouldn't want to waste nutrients now, would you? By morning, Jabba's glorious colors are the best they've ever been. His skin is always the nicest after a molt. Now if you're new to the channel, I know you may be thinking, but wait Ants Canada, isn't this an ant channel? Why frogs? Yes, first off, warm welcome to you newcomers to the channel, where we often feature more than just ants, but other animals too, because ants happen to have close relationships with a ton of other creatures in nature, frogs being one of them. Now you may be surprised just how awesome frog skin actually is. And in this midweek video, I wanted to do a deep dive on the wonders of frog skin and show you why I feel frog skin is some of the coolest skin in the animal kingdom and why frog skin is actually important for us humans. So the first thing you might want to know about frog skin, which may surprise you, is that all frogs have poison glands in their skin, particularly at the head and back. Jabba here, as well as many other frogs, have only mild toxins. Thankfully, not that I hold them much anyway. It just causes a foul taste if an animal were to try to eat it. But some frogs have poisons that can harm humans. Case in point, poison dart frogs. They get their lethal skin toxins from eating toxic ants and termites from the habitats they're from. Yet another way in which ants and frogs are connected. Another cool thing about frog skin is that they can breathe through it. They can absorb oxygen through their skin, as well as water. Many frogs don't even have to drink water with their mouths. They just absorb water into their bodies by soaking in it. Jabba here always loves huddling in his moist bed of moss and keeps nice and hydrated at all times. But the magic of frog skin lies in the awesome slime that covers Jabba's whole body. It helps keep his skin permeable to water, oxygen, and nutrients. It also keeps water from evaporating out of his body and from completely drying up. The slime is also a great barrier against bacteria and fungus. Now let's talk colors. Jabba's coloration is just gorgeous, wouldn't you say? His patterns of greens, browns, and yellows allow him to camouflage in moss and leaf litter, in which he hides most of the time. If frogs aren't brightly colored like dart frogs, warning predators that they're toxic, they're more cryptic in coloration, allowing them to camouflage in their preferred habitats. Now Jabba the Hutt here is a pretty incredible pet frog. He's really starting to win my heart. He chirps every day, especially when he hears my voice or hears me watching YouTube. Frogs like Jabba here are important to us humans because frogs are often the indicator of a healthy or unhealthy environment. They're like the canary in a coal mine. If a place gets too polluted with harmful agents and chemicals, frogs will be among the first creatures to disappear because their skin is so absorbent. If you find an area that has a lot of frogs, note bene, frogs that are not mutated, that is, then you know that there's a good chance that the area's ecosystem is healthy and clean. If you'd like to see more about Jabba here, you must watch our video when we first introduced him to the channel and built his mossy paradise for him, complete with a living wall and drip system. He's such a cute little guy and a cool, hands-off pet.
to live with. I also have left a hidden video for you here if you'd like to see him eating his pellets and a baby mouse. He sure loves his food, so go check him pigging out. Thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you for our next video this Saturday, so be sure to subscribe to the channel for more cool ant and nature discovery. It's frog love forever. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload a new video every Wednesday and Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love forever.